Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. For those who are unaware, there's talk out there about an international pandemic treaty. You, you can look it up. It's on the WHO's website. There's, it's, it's out there. And, you know, I was recently, I recently came across a statement. This goes back about a year ago. Uh, this is from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs here in Thailand, quote, and the title is, Statement by His Excellency General Prayut chan cha the Prime Minister, Kingdom of Thailand, at the Global COVID-19 Summit, Ending the Pandemic, Building Back Better. And then the third point in here is, is the point that sort of gets to the thrust of this video. Third and last, Thailand agrees in principle that we need to further strengthen pandemic preparedness and response at all levels, national, regional, and global. Thailand, uh, this is kind of cut off, should be in the process of developing a pandemic treaty. Meanwhile, Thailand is, re is revising our Communicable Disease Act in line with the international health regulations. You know, my first question on that is, do we really, does Thailand need to be part of this pandemic treaty? I mean, Thailand's kind of, Thailand kind of did things differently, frankly, than, than other people, than other countries did when this thing first came about. I mean, when the emergency decree came into effect, Thailand did a full quarantine. Other countries didn't do that. Thailand did a full quarantine. I mean, they zipped up the borders and they closed down the airports. And I mean, there were certain people that couldn't even get in through the airport. They were in the air when the policy came down and they just said, nope, you gotta go. And, and cause it was a full quarantine. Other countries didn't do it that way. So my first question there would be, one, do we really need to sign on to this? You know, Thailand is usually pretty, it, one thing I love about Thailand is it goes its own way. It, it has its own way of doing things. And that the Thai way has worked out for Thailand very well in the past. I mean, navigation through colonialism, the Cold War, all of those kinds of things, Thailand did well by essentially keeping her own counsel in a way. And then the other thing is, you know, revising the Communicable Disease Act. I mean, what, what, why is that necessary? You know, I don't, I don't think we've seen any reason in the past two years that, that it needs to be revised. Now, that being stated, you know, I'm not privy to every little detail, but I just don't think in any major substantive way a revision of the Communicable Disease Act is overly necessary. So that being said, I don't, I don't know that anybody really listens to me, but I, you know, this whole notion of this pandemic treaty, you know, I'm not against it per se, but I, I just think, don't local jurisdictions have a better grasp on what works best for their particular polity, for their particular population? I, I would think Thailand knows best how to deal with the problems of Thailand. And, to kind of get handcuffed, for lack of a better term, into some international framework that is not really, well, it's not really dictated at a local level, I, I, I just think that that could lead to some unforeseen problems down the road. That said, I could be wrong, and as of yet, this hasn't been promulgated. We haven't seen this come about, so we'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.